is up you guys woodsman back here again and today i'm going to be installing a cold air intake on my 2012 chevy silverado i am out here in on an abandoned road near my school because apparently my school does not allow you to work on your vehicle at all in any of the parking lots or any of the parking garages so I'm out here hoping that I have brought all the tools I need. Uh, it's pretty simple. All I'm gonna need is some ratchets and a screwdriver. Um, so let's uh, get this done. Now, this isn't really an instructional video. Um, I wouldn't recommend you following along exactly. I didn't really follow the instructions that came with mine exactly. And a lot of cold air intakes are different and may require different things to install them. But um, if you want to follow along before you install yours, um, it can give you maybe a better idea of how to do it and what you're looking at. All right, so first things first, you should remove the negative terminal off of your battery. Uh, it's something you should always really do when you're working on your vehicle, no matter what, especially if it's something electronic. But uh, really for anything, you should just remove the negative terminal off your battery. All right, so next, um, first take off your engine cover obviously to reach everything under it. I'm going to take off the crankcase vent line by just pulling it right out of there. Nice and easy, it comes right out. All right, so next you're gonna to wanna to remove this intake tube um, just so it's easier to get to the other end of that crankcase vent line. So to do that, simply hit this clamp and this clamp with a flathead screwdriver. Then you'll be able to pull this tube off here then this will come off the throttle body like so. Then you can remove this whole hunk of garbage from the truck. So now you can access the other end of the crank case vent line. The flathead screwdriver, there's a tab. Move that tab to the other side and it will come right off. Next, by depressing this tab right here, you will pull off the wiring harness for the mass airflow sensor. Then you can remove the mass airflow sensor from that intake tube by hitting these two screws. All right, then you can remove the top off the cleaner box by hitting the four screws on either side. Then you take out your existing filter. As you can see my beautifully disgusting nasty can and drop in filter that I have never cleaned. Now the rest of the air box will simply pop out of grommets and you can pull it completely out as well you're left with this next you can remove the air box tray from the vehicle by hitting these four bolts that are here then you can completely remove this from the truck all right, so next you can install whatever air box came with your kit. Um, some kits come with not really an air box, just a little plastic mold that you can put your filter in, but mine came with an actual box. So whatever it is, you can go ahead and put that in next. So next I installed the actual filter into the air box. So my intake also came with a plastic cover for the filter, so I installed that as well. Next what I did was install this rubber coupler over the throttle body. It just has a simple hose clamp. Uh, most cold air intakes that you get will have something like this that will go over the throttle body. Uh, you just want to make sure that there's no crap up in here. Um, if there is, then you may have a different problem. Alright, so next I installed the intake tube. I attached it to the throttle body with another hose clamp and then you can reinstall your mass airflow sensor right down here. Make sure it's in there nice and tight because this clip likes to come off. 
So next you're going to reinstall the breather line or the crankcase vent line, whatever you want to call it. Uh, mine came with a new tube that just pushed back into the uh, place on the motor. So it was nice and easy. It just clamped right into this barb on the actual intake tube. And that is it for that. All right, last but not least, do not forget to reinstall your negative battery terminal. And with that, you are done. Congratulations, you've just installed a cold air intake. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I am Woodsman, and uh, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a like. Let me know um, in the comments if you're running a cold air intake, and uh, if you are, what kind of colder intake you're running and with that, Woodsman, 